God sends Ezra to restore God's people. I can do anything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4 verse 13. Ezra 3 verse 1 to 13, 7 verse 1 to 10, 9 verse 6 and 10 verse 17. For many years, the Israelites did not live in Israel. When Nebuchadnezzar was king, he divided God's people, destroyed Jerusalem and sent God's people to live in exile. God's people could no longer live in the promised land. They were divided throughout the many kingdoms of Babylon. But God still had a plan with his people and he did not forget about them. Soon there was a new ruler. King Cyrus, and he made public declaration that God's people could return to Jerusalem so they could rebuild the temple. God's people were so excited, they started making plans to return to the promised land. But building the temple was hard work. God's people had many enemies, and they all tried to prevent the temple from being rebuilt. But at last, the construction was finished, and the grand reopening was about to take place. In those days, Ezra was a priest and a teacher of the law of God. Some of the Israelites who also came up to Jerusalem to celebrate the grand reopening of the temple included priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers and temple servants. Everyone was very excited. Ezra gathered all the people who were to do service in the temple and said to them, Come, let us fast to set ourselves apart in service to God. Humble yourselves before God and ask Him for a safe journey for us and our children and everything we bring with us to His temple. The leaders came to Ezra and gave him some bad news. They said, The people of Israel, including the priests and the Levites, have not kept themselves separate from the people of Babylon. God's holy people are no longer set apart. When Ezra heard this, he cried out, and tore his clothes. The people had betrayed God. When it was time for the evening sacrifice, Ezra bowed down before the Lord and prayed, My God, I am still ashamed and humiliated to lift up my face to you. I am a righteous and holy God, and I am covered in sin and smeared with guilt. In Saunders, Ezra stretched out his hands and said, We were slaves in exile, in fremde lande, but you have not forgotten about he us. Van ons While Ezra was praying and, praying and crying before God, 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 the whole crowd of people, men, men women and children, children gathered around him, and they too wept for God. Uitgeroep. Then Shekania said to Ezra, We have been untreated in our God, so by marrying him to Ezra, while we were in exile. But, but in spite of this, there, there is still Israel. hope for Israel. Come on, mark of now, let us make a covenant Instead, with our God to send, send away all the foreigners weg. and their children. Let it be done according to God's law. Stand Lord. up, Ezra. Rise stark. up, Ezra. Be strong. Stand courage. Stand. We will support you. Ezra got up and made the leading priests and Levites to lay down an oath Ezra sent a message to all the people. People of Israel, you have been unfaithful to the Lord and added to our guilt. You will have three days to make a confession to the Lord and to separate yourselves from the foreign people among you. Send them away to their countries where they came from and set you apart in service to the Lord. The people responded, saying, You are right. We will settle this matter before the Lord. Ezra selected men away as leaders in their families and commanded them to oversee that everything would take place exactly so that the people had promised to the Lord. Even though God's people had sinned, Ezra was faithful to the Lord. He helped Ezra to put things back to order. The temple was rebuilt so God's people could gather before Him in worship. God saw that Ezra's heart was good and honest and gave him strength. So that I did right. Right. Here we discover that God indeed, indeed that sees our heart. Sin. He knows every, every thought and and every prayer. Nothing is can hidden from him. him. Nooks. Memorize. We were Memorize slaves, here, but God did not, did not abandon us. He gave God. us favor to rebuild the temple and as a wall of protection in around us. Ezra 9, verse 9. Ezra 9, verse 9.